sounds nowhere in a... What street is this? Euclid Avenue? No idea. But this street is a uh, Harvard Street. Looks like a pretty nice school. I like being downtown, just walking around with nothing to do. No, like it's just interesting. Just thought provoking. That's what I like. I need to get some food though. I'm hungry. It's like a different part of Toronto that I haven't seen, but I like it. I think I remember seeing this park before somewhere in my my many walks a long time ago, like maybe five years ago. Look at this Canadian parks are made downhill, so in the winter, you know, kids can use it. They go uh, tobogganing down the hill. All the parks that I've in Canada are like that. So if you're wondering why, that's why. Oh, you play. This part of town feels a little different. It feels cool. It feels more like home. We'll keep walking to see what we can find. He's more happy here. I don't know, like the closeness of the homes, you know, the activity going on. You know, you're never alone. Take the bus for everywhere. Big school. I don't know. I kind of like this better than spread out houses. The house I live in, like at home, is like not this close together, but I mean, there's a little bit, a fair bit of distance. It's alright, but there's no much, not too much activity going on, you know. Sometimes it just feels lonely. But here in a big city like this, when you're close to these people, I don't know, I just find it. A little bit more comforting. I like this, like traffic, nonsense going on, look. I'd ever survive like uh, in the middle of nowhere. I need all this crazy stuff. So, I remember when they were still proposing the Trump Tower in Toronto. Uh, when they were still, when that site was just a parking lot that I used. Uh, it was just a parking lot. Now it's been accepted. And it's a building, look. That's the Trump Tower. It's going to be one of the tallest um, buildings in Toronto. It's supposed to be like 67 stories or something like that. I don't know. Offices, residence, hotel, everything.
they've uh, they've built it fast. It's been done in like two years. Yeah, in about two years. Yeah, I remember like four years ago, there was nothing there. And this one either. It's just crazy, but it's awesome, I love it. I love the big buildings like that. Right now there's like about six, seven, like big ass skyscrapers that are being built in Toronto. So gonna be sick to see how the Phoenix product looks and how it changes the skyline. Right. Let's make thing let's make sure this thing is on. Yeah, okay I gotta remember to turn it off. Action. So just to recap. I <clears throat> the reason why I was talking about um you know like the buildings and the houses and like the area, the neighborhood and stuff like that is because I'm interested in how people live where they live, how they live, you know? Because where I come from, like where I was brought up, it was mostly like poor poor people. Like, way better than a lot of people, but we're still in a pretty modest, poor neighborhood. I just like to see how people live in the world. Whenever I go to Mexico, I'm, I'm so curious that whenever we go, I'm like, I'm like a little kid, like who's never seen this shit before. And I've seen it all. I'm just like looking everywhere because I'm so interested, you know. The reason I went downtown just is just be, just to just to see, just to walk around, just to think. <laughs> and uh, I, I was hoping to make videos. I got some footage, and um, I just like to see new things.